Mark Zuckerberg, the innovative mind behind Facebook, now Meta Platforms, Incorporated, revolutionized social networking and digital communication. Born on May 14, 1984, in White Plains, New York, Zuckerberg's journey began with a passion for computer programming evident from an early age. With his bold ambitions and unwavering determination, Elon Musk, the mysterious businessman and visionary behind SpaceX, Tesla, Incorporated, and many more groundbreaking endeavors, have captured the attention of people all over the world. Before we start, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon as well. Now let's get started. Mark Zuckerberg Facebook, the largest social network in the world, was founded by Meta Platforms, of which Zuckerberg is the CEO and co-founder. With 4 billion monthly users, the Menlo Park, California-based company brought in $134.9 billion in revenue in 2023. At the time, its 2012 IPO was the largest in the history of technology. Billionaires like Bill Gates, the co-founder of Microsoft, and Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook, among others, have amassed enormous wealth through a few key financial practices that have enabled them to reach unimaginably high levels of wealth. One of the youngest self-made billionaires in history is Mark Zuckerberg, the co-founder and CEO of Facebook, now Meta Platforms, Incorporated. Although his first billion dollars exact spending patterns aren't well known, he probably followed a similar path to many other software entrepreneurs who place a high value on financial planning, philanthropy, personal hobbies, and investing back into their businesses. It's possible that Zuckerberg contributed a sizable amount of his money back to Facebook. This might include adding to the infrastructure of the business, financing the creation of new features through research and development, or buying out rival businesses to enhance Facebook's portfolio. Priscilla Chen, the spouse of Mark Zuckerberg, is well known for her charitable work. They said in 2015 that they will donate 99% of their Facebook shares to charity throughout the course of their lives. Though Zuckerberg is renowned for leading a humble life, he probably couldn't have afforded certain indulgences before he became a millionaire. This could be used to finance travel and hobbies, as well as the acquisition of expensive goods like real estate, artwork, or other stuff. It is probable that Zuckerberg diversified his holdings by making investments in startups, other businesses, or financial instruments. A sizable amount of Zuckerberg's fortune would go toward taxes and estate preparation. In order to guarantee that his money is dispersed in accordance with his preferences and to reduce his tax obligations, this entails putting up trusts, wills, and other legal frameworks. It's possible that Zuckerberg made investments in networking, mentoring, or other forms of education for his career and personal growth. For prosperous business people like him, lifelong learning is frequently a top concern. Zuckerberg most likely combined civic obligation, personal fulfillment, and strategic planning with his newfound wealth. His decisions would have been a reflection of his goals, principles, and long-term outlook for his legacy, as well as the global influence of his riches. With a net worth of over $185 billion, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg could certainly afford a lavish lifestyle. He is renowned for being economical, nevertheless. Rather than a flashy sports car, he is shown driving a plain Acura, and most of his clothes are basic gray t-shirts. Elon Musk The CEO of SpaceX and Tesla, incorporated among other companies, Elon Musk is well known for his audacious plans and unorthodox style of doing business. We can infer some reasonable assumptions regarding his first billion dollar spending based on his goals and his hobbies. With a net worth of $236 billion, billionaire Elon Musk is the richest person in the world according to Forbes and the Bloomberg Billionaires Index. He is the founder and owner of Tesla, X.com, SpaceX, and The Boring Company. In contrast to other billionaires and typical investing tales, Mr. Musk embarked on a number of high-risk investment ventures that eventually made him the world's richest private citizen in 2021. 
The notable surge in Mr. Musk's wealth can be attributed to his stake in SpaceX, the Boring Company, and the electric vehicle maker Tesla. Following the development of the Internet, Mr. Musk and his brother Kimball established Zip2, an online directory of businesses. In 1999, they sold the business to Compaq, a once-dominant computer manufacturer, for $307 million. According to the outlet, he made $22 million from the sale of Zip2 alone, and he subsequently spent $1 million on a McLaren F1 supercar. After that, he launched a banking firm that eventually merged with another business to become PayPal, where he became the CEO. When eBay purchased PayPal for $1.5 billion in 2002, Mr. Musk amassed a massive fortune of $180 million. In 2002, the billionaire established SpaceX with the goal of colonizing Mars. His goal when starting Tesla in 2003 was to produce electric sports vehicles. Both companies had difficult beginnings. In the end, Mr. Musk says he put almost all of the proceeds from the sale of PayPal into these businesses, according to the Times story. Tesla faced problems once its engineers discovered that its prototype battery packs were prone to catching fire, while SpaceX had multiple botched flights that almost drove the company out of business. Tesla nearly went bankrupt in 2008 during the Great Recession. After NASA invested in SpaceX and Tesla launched the Model S in 2012, making it a mass-market vehicle in the US, things started to get better over time. He currently possesses roughly 23% of Tesla in the form of both stock and options. Mr. Musk created The Boring Company, a tunnel-digging company, and Neuralink, a neurotechnology company, in 2016. According to Forbes, the former raised $675 million in April 2022 at a valuation of $5.7 billion. In October 2022, he also paid $44 billion for Twitter, which he currently owns 74% of after it changed its name to X overall. Musk's decision about how to spend his first billion dollars will probably be a reflection of his future goals, which include striking a balance between his personal interests, commercial aspirations, and desire to have a positive impact on the environment and society. That's all for today's video. If you found this video helpful, leave a comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss out on any of our new videos. Thanks for watching.